First, we need to locate your SVG files. Make sure the files are not in a zip folder. If there is a zipper icon, file needs to be unzipped. See links below on videos on how to unzip files. In most files from Simply Crafty SVGs, the SVGs are located in the SVG files folder. We also include a PDF file that shows file contents, so you know what, it, what is what when uploading. And it also contains written assembly instructions with detailed steps. Now that we know where our SVG files are, we can continue to upload them into Design Space. So within Design Space, click on New Project from the lower left or the upper right. Then on the lower left, click on Upload, and then Upload Image. The first method we'll use is simply dragging and dropping the SVG file. You can do that one SVG at a time. Take the time to add a descriptive name and tags. For this one, I use Christmas Tree Delivery Box Card as the name. I copied it for the next file and then the tags of Christmas box card and Simply Crafty SVGs. Then go ahead and click Save when you're done with all the tags in the description. You may also upload SVGs by clicking on the Browse button by cl after clicking on the upload image. You will need to select one file at a time again and then add the description. I pasted the description in and appended the um, name of the file and then again added the same tags. You can use whatever you'd like and then click save to save the file. Then you'll see a message above verifying it uploaded successfully. Once you have all the files in the project uploaded, select them. You can see what's selected in the little circle previews prior to clicking the Insert Images button. So I had already uploaded four other files for this project. And then once you get them on the mat, I usually zoom out to rearrange the files, making it easier to see them and to rearrange them. And then I usually zoom back in after that. If there are score lines for folds in any SVG, which is the norm for my SVG files, you will need to take some additional steps to attach the score lines as shown on the actual card. Um, I broke this out into another video, so you want to see the video uh, Cricut Design Space How to Attach Score Lines. The link is provided in the upper right hand corner of this video and below. And then you can just save the file and I just saved it prior to attaching the score lines. And that's it. Just make sure if you don't know how to attach score lines to go to the next video. Thanks for watching.